be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up on the video if you like the content. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Today's video is going to be another subscriber slash viewer topic. And let's go ahead and check out what we're going to be covering today. All right, so we have Chris here. He says, can you do a tutorial on using the fader tool? Sure, Chris, we're going to do that. And for all the other subscribers or viewers who've been wondering what the fader tool is or how to access it or what all it could do, this video is for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, basically, I'm going to be continuing to use this beat that we've been doing on the last couple of videos and to, in order to show you this. Um, basically, what the fader tool is going to be able to do is give you several different options when it comes to fading um, audio. OK. Um, what I did is I bounced this uh, this last piece of, audio, um, of the of the beat in place to create an audio track, and I'm actually going to go ahead and hold down Option and drag this over. I have to take this off. Um, I'm also I'm hold down Option and drag this over just to create another audio track. And the reason why I'm going to do this is just to demonstrate the fader tool. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, to bring up the fader tool, all you have to do is push the letter T on your keyboard. So if you push the letter T on your keyboard, boom, this these options are going to pull up. OK, these are actually all your tools where you can start doing editing and different things like that. But um, the fader tool is all the way about almost down, almost at the very last. OK, um, if you look over here to the right, you can see a letter. That's also a, a hot key or a shortcut that you can you can use. So instead of just pushing T, what you can do is push T and then the letter A, and it's going to pull up the fader tool automatically. It's going to select it for you. So I can put T A and boom, we have the, the fader tool selected. So if I push T, you see how it's already selected right there. All right. So nothing too crazy and complicated to fading out music, but it can do some other cool stuff. So like for instance. If I take this fader tool, TA, all I have to do is go to the top of the audio and this go to the left. And now I have a fade. So check this out. We're going to listen to it and it's going to fade out. All right. So that's cool in and of itself. But what if I wanted to do some other things? If you actually right click on the fade after you put it on there, you can have access to all the other options. Now, one of the other options that I really love is the slow down effect. So you could just go ahead and click on that and it all of a sudden turns this from fade to slow down. So let's check that out. So it just can give you some pretty cool effects to your music, especially like when you're ending the music or even just certain sections. But now it can do other things as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn this, actually remove the fade out. Boom. Now, what you can also do is come over here and select both of these. And matter of fact, my bad. If you have it on a crossfade, You basically can fade in and out two different audio tracks. So check this out. So there's a lot of different things you can do on that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. You can just um, you can do an S curve S curve crossfade as well. Let me just kind of zoom in a little bit so you really can see what I'm talking about. It's basically going to control how the fade fades out with that S curve. And then you have an equal power crossfade. So 
So it's just different type of things that you can do on here. The main thing I really like to do is the slow down effect. Um, this again, you're doing all these things without having to automate, and it's actually a, just a click of the button. It's pretty simple. You can remove all these if you just click on that. Again, you just push T, and you can then push A, and it will just select the tape, the fader tool, and that's how you do it, man. It's really nothing too much more to that. Um, compared to having to actually automate this so it actually would save you a step let's just I'm just gonna show you something right if we had a timer up right we can just see how long it's gonna take you to do each one um, so for instance if I was gonna automate the fade on here I'll push a and then this is gonna pull up my automation I'll have to go ahead and create two nodes right one at the end one at there and then take that down. Now, does the same thing. Right? But it just saves you time by using the fader tool. Just push TA, boom, and then just come right over here like that. I don't have to click on the nodes or anything like that. I don't have to do anything. Just push TA. You saw how fast that happened, right? Like literally. Let's do, let's do this again. Let's show you. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. You know what I'm saying? It just takes... Well, let me take this fader tool off. There's just so many extra steps to do that. You know, even though, even though it's not really all that hard, that fader tool does save you some time. Like, literally will save you some time. TA, drag it over. It's done. You know what I mean? So that's how you use the fader tool. You can just you know select it like that. It will just help you out with uh, with your mixes and help you out with certain things. Another good thing about having that fade actually on the actual audio too is you can actually come over here and push the volume up or down. It doesn't matter. That fade will still stay intact. You feel what I'm saying? So like for instance, TA boom. Let's say if I'm, you know, mixing the music and I want to, you know, lower this some, that fade is still going to be there. Compared to if you were to do automation, right? If I want to go ahead and affect the volume after I did this fade tool, I'll have to come over here and raise it like this. I had to push A and you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole lot of extra stuff you have to do uh, when you automate. So yeah, y'all use the fader tool. It's going to definitely be something that's going to save you some time. And it's a pretty cool tool to use, um, especially when you're making beats and different things like that. You could do some cool things like even with transitions, right? So like, for instance, say if I'm just going to move. I'm just gonna mute this part out and I'm gonna play the beat, right? Okay, so that's how the beat would go into the hook. But if I put the fader tool on, I could either fade it out or I could put the uh, slow down effect on it. You know what I mean? Two different things you could do, but that slow down effect sounded pretty dope like that. All right, matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and add that into this beat. That was pretty hard, actually. So anyway, y'all, that's today's video. Um, appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you all in the next one.